Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm Wendy's and welcome to my channel. So today I will be reviewing two fragrances which are Narciso Rodriguez Rouge Eau de Toilette and also Narciso Rouge Eau de Parfum. Wait until I get the bottle and show you. So I have a full size bottle of Narciso Rouge Eau de Parfum and a travel size of the Eau de Toilette. And I have been a very big fan of Narciso Rodriguez fragrances, which is why the reason I bought both of these Eau de Parfum and Eau de Toilette. And I would like to compare these two and let you know the differences between the two of them. So first of all, now the Eau de Parfum. So the Eau de Parfum consists of rose, iris, rose and iris in the top note while the Eau de Toilette only has rose and lily of the valley in the top. So in the first blast for the Eau de Parfum I get like a very makeup-y but electronic kind of powdery feeling. It's makeup-y but it's almost like it's quite sweet. Not candy sweet, but like milky sweet, almost like tonic in the beginning. Compared to the Eau de Parfum, the Eau de Toilette is contrastively lack powdery, lack of the powderiness, it's less powdery, but the rose in here is more pronounced and it's mixed together with this lily of the valley, giving it a very opulent, giving it a very clean and fresh, almost a little bit green kind of scent in the beginning. So after the dry after the after both the fragrances dry down a little bit, we come to the middle stage. So the middle note of the Eau de Parfum are musk, orange blossom and tuberose. Actually I think I I think tuberose and orange blossom really don't play any important role in here. I, I almost can neglect these two notes in this fragrance because I simply don't get any um, the, the characteristic, the floral, the creamy or the loud characteristic, characteristics of this tuberose and also I don't find anything bright, grapey of this orange blossom. So it's really the rose together with the musk and still retaining the powderiness from the iris for the Eau de Parfum. And as it goes into the middle stage, the rose tend to take a tend to be the main star of the show. It the rose characteristic starts to start to shine and making the whole fragrance very romantic. And for the Eau Toilet, I was quite surprised for the Eau Toilet because I didn't expect it to kind of project even better than Eau de Parfum in the middle note. So it is almost like the mask in the Eau Toilet really shines and it is unhindered. There's no obstacle in blocking the moss, the musk to do its work, bringing out the beauty, clean feeling and mix very well with the rose and also the lily of the valley. It's very airy, very clean, but it just shines through the whole thing, making it very, it, it just has a very pretty projection, very beautiful. And I was really surprised because I didn't expect Eau de Toilette to perform, to project that well in the middle. So as it dries down further, we move on to the base of these fragrances. And for the Eau de Parfum, the notes listed on Fragrantica are quite a lot. I get uh, there are oak moss, tonka bean, cedarwood, vanilla and sandalwood. So comparatively, the Eau de Toilette seem to be easier and seem to be less a note for the base there are only tonka bean and oak moss so for me the eau de parfum as it dries down i think it slowly lose the it slowly lose the characteristic of this powdery feeling from the beginning it slowly dries down into a more heavy like a more grounded kind of scent which is mainly caused by the vanilla and Tonka and also a little tiny tinge of cedar wood, making it a little bit woody and not so sweet, not candy ish sweet. Um, 
I think it's very well rounded for the older puffer and as compared to the older toilet although the middle tone of this older puffer doesn't project that much but it dries down into this grounded very well rounded almost full bodied scent and it sticks to my skin for a really long time while the older toilet has slowly fades away the older puffer really does what it says after all it's it is an older puffer so it stays hours and hours after the beautiful musket older toilet shines and slowly fades away so the older toilet as it dries down I do get the sweetness of this tonka bean. It is tonka bean, I say, it really plays a very important role in eau de toilette. The tonka bean will take over the sweet, the clean, the beautiful musk which projects just now and slowly it will project lesser and lesser but it dries down into a very beautiful tonka bean scent. So. I wouldn't say that the longevity of Eau de Toilette is good because compared to Eau de Parfum, it really seems to lack its, you know, it, seem, it, it simply loses over comparing to the Eau de Parfum as it's just an Eau de Toilette. But if you're talking about the scent, if you're talking about the scent, Eau de Toilette seems to be fresher, cleaner, and it is almost like a like a one year younger sister than Eau de Parfum, where Eau de Parfum is more serious, more full bodied and um, and longer lasting. So basically, I noticed that these two only has one different note in them, which is the lily of the valley, which is why the Eau de Toilette seems to be a little bit greener, a little bit lighter, a little bit more kind of like more green florally like as compared to the older puffer it is more it is woodier it is woodier rose more rosy and more powdery definitely and yeah that's the two differences that are noticed in eau de parfum and eau de toilette however if you really compare these two fragrances i don't think that they really differ that much they are quite similar so um for me i i, I kind of i'm kind of happy that i just got a travel size for eau de toilette although i really do like the eau de toilette because i think it does project a little bit better than eau de parfum um However, I do not regret my decision of buying a travel size because these two scents are really quite similar. So, that's all from me. If you have tried these fragrances, the Narcisse Rouge Eau de Parfum and Narcisse Rouge Eau de Toilette, do comment down below and let me know your thoughts. So, that's all from me. I'll see you in the next Chinese New Year Countdown Perfume Review. Bye!